G'day everybody, this is Matt from Lawn Porn, get your lawn on. I have been away for a couple of weeks, hence why the lawn has got fairly long, even though the missus was going over it with the rotary, and it was a bit frustrating coming back to see it so long and not being able to mow it because it was still wet. It's still growing in, and remember this was a heavy reno uh, quite a number of weeks ago, so I'm still waiting for some fill in. So this mow, although aggressive and doesn't look too good after it, really shows off the quality of the mower because it's handled such a high volume of grass nice and easily. Yep. Okay, so I've been away for two weeks and that two weeks, the temperatures weren't too crash hot here. Uh, not much growth happened, but uh, enough uh, to make it grow up a little bit. Some patches haven't filled in. It really needs a mow. I'm gonna break the one third rule today with my mow. I mow at 10 mil. It's definitely a lot longer than 10 mil. Yeah, Mrs. did really well with the Ego. She mowed it a couple of times with that. I had to mow it up this morning because all the uh, all the purple leaves were on the thing and you can maybe see the lines. This is well overdue for a mow, so I'll start off with the edges. Sorry, the edges are in the shade, but you know, um, uh, you've seen me do it a hundred times. So let's just do it. So we're using the Ego Edger. Love this thing. So good. that I'm about to do with the Mo Master, oh geez, I hope I've got petrol in it, <laughs> um, is going to be a 10 mil Mo. This is about 20 mil, so I'm taking about half off. Uh, so yeah, um, it's going to bruise it up a little bit, but you know, I want to train it to that, uh, that length, so let's go for it. I felt uh, really at home with the Mo Master R22G. It felt very much like my Mo Master R22W. But the only difference is that groove front roller, ten blades instead of eight, and also a teasing brush, which you could notice during the mow. Now this mow, I've taken a lot off. That was just three passes. That uh, little bit of a you know half bucket. So it's a really really hard mow, and as you can see, it hasn't grown in properly. But Look, you can see that uh, the lines are coming up already and even though it's not in its best condition and look, it's a beautiful mower and I'm really looking forward to the grass maturing up, uh, growing in uh, a few PGR apps to thicken it up and I'll really start getting some nice line action here. So all in all, the impressions that I'm getting from this mower are just fantastic. Too bad for the first mow. First lines of the season. The sun's right, it's like, what's about noon or something, is it maybe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so the lines aren't showing up that well because the sun's directly above. But um, yeah, that's come up better than expected. First sort of real mow of the season. First uh, real use of the mow master without it being a sand pit. So very impressive. You can see it just slayed through it. So this is my main area that's yet to fill in. I'm using a Pro Plugger to uh, assist me in filling in that area. I've had mine for a while now and these are available from Real Solutions I think so I'll put a link in the description as they're probably the only ones that uh, I know that really have them. But it's quite simple here, I'm just taking out some of the uh, plugs that are just all sand and soil and they're all sitting in the uh, tube there. So that's the plugs that I'm 
I'm getting and you can see my top dress was about that thick it was just too much for the grass that was there there's a little bit of thatch in there a little bit of die off so this shows you though um, around about here was where my original um, original lawn sort of was and it's come up that much over two seasons simply because it was just way under the foundation so yeah that's why it's been quite the task here so you find an area of your lawn with the same lawn type obviously that isn't as noticeable isn't as looked at and i've gone in the back corner here where everything's full up and i in the end i took out five holes so i'm going to pick up five plugs here so Beautiful. So they're all loaded up in that. Now I'm just going to use these plugs to replace these holes. And We'll go back in now. Side down, see what we got. There's one more in there. There is. There it is. That's the older area, and this one over the last couple of seasons, I've brought that up quite a bit too. This whole lawn, when we took it over, what March? 2020 was just utterly low. So look, now we just put these in. So these plugs will grow nicely into the area. They'll start spreading out and filling in that area as it fills in from the edges from the grass that's around it. So I could have put a few more in here, but look, five will do. Uh, it's going to start growing quickly now because there's a, a bit more rain coming and also a bit of heat after that so she should go quite nicely. It is important to keep the moisture up in this area while uh, they are growing in but we're having so much rain lately and there's more forecast I think I'll just be able to go with my normal watering program and I'll be alright. So I was blessed to have a second sunny day after I did that mow. So um, I took advantage of it and uh, I got into my first groom of the season. Now grooming is lightly vertically cutting your lawn. Um, it doesn't hit the ground. What it does, it will pull up a bit of thatch. It'll create some more growing points at the top of your plant, which will later thicken with the regrowth. And it'll just cut all those lateral runners that come along and uh, really affect the grain of your grass. And that can really, um, create some thatchy points and uh, some unevenness and inconsistency especially if you're trying to maintain a low lawn i go in two different directions you can do as many different directions as you like it doesn't matter and uh, one thing i must do with this uh, groomer is i must change the sole plate over for the uh, trident uh, groomer um, sole plate thing i don't know what you call it uh, don't know what to call it. I've had it for a few years now. I still haven't popped it in there, so I really need to because I need that extra clearance because a couple of times I dig in with the sole plate even at 10 mil. Uh, so, yeah, it's something I've really got to pay attention to. There we go. See, we're getting lots of long runners out of it, which is good. And this is quite green because it's new, but there's a bit of brown thatch underneath there already. Cool stuff. So the grooming certainly fluffs up the grass, stands it all up ready for a, another nice cut. It really gets those laterals out of there and just stands everything up that uh, 
you need to cut with your mow um, that you do straight after a groom which I always do and always do this with the catcher as well because I just want to catch up uh, any of that thatch underneath that, uh, that the groomer has brought up and uh, left behind as well so yeah here's another mow with the mow master at 22 mil the teasing brush is definitely noticeable here uh, really holds up that grass ready for the cutters to cut it nicely and I'm just getting such a fantastic result uh, after this mow, groom and mow. So I've done a, you know, this this hadn't been mowing uh, with anything but a rotary twice uh, during two weeks. There's a fair bit of growth. I've broken the one third rule and cut that down uh, from 20 mil to 10 mil got about half a catcher then I've done a groom to get rid of all the laterals bring up a, a little bit of thatch there wasn't much there but um, certainly it's got rid of those laterals and making some more growing points in the crown of the plant so what will happen is when it grows back it will uh, just uh, eat, grow in evenly so this is we're trying to get that real carpet look with this and you know that fluffs it up so neaten that up with uh, another 10 mil mo. So tomorrow the wind's down, uh, I'll be looking at doing a green light app and I'll be putting oh, quite a heavy PGR in there. I'll probably put 10 mils PGR uh, plant growth regulator. Why do I want to do that? It's because I'm going away again for two weeks in a few days time. So I just really uh, want to be able to control the growth. And uh, you know, what will happen with that is that I'll get that nice deep dark green, no surge growth with the sorry it's a bit windy here yeah no surge growth with the green light uh, but I get the nice deep dark green with the uh, iron that's in green light and the PGR that'll control the mowing so my missus doesn't have to worry about it too much and look it'll uh, just be a uh, it'll start growing laterally more and it'll just thicken in and just get that nice consistent look that I'm I'm hoping for so yeah that's the plan that's the video yeah it's all good get your lawn on and catch you later